Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Cammy's Craftiques. My name is Cammy. Um, first and foremost, I would like to thank everybody who is watching this video or and who has watched any of my other videos. I really truly do appreciate it. Um, if you're not subscribed, if you're new, I do appreciate you joining in. Um, if you're not subscribed, please, you know, if you like the type of content that I am doing, which is unboxings and um, pretty much anything to do with the resale side of really secondhand items, sometimes new items, all depends. Uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. I truly appreciate it. Also, I do love the comments. I respond to everybody. At least I try to respond at a good time for everybody. Sometimes, you know, a day may go by, but I will respond. And also, the thumbs up. I love the thumbs thumbs up. I give you people thumbs up too for watching. So uh, today I am going to be unboxing a couple of thread up uh, rescue boxes. I also may be filming also today my American America's Thrift Supply because that box has been sitting quite some time now. And I'm trying at this point to catch up on my video filming and my unboxings. And then once I do that, I pretty much have to clean up the items. Then I research them, take pictures, then I list them. And I sell on the platforms of Poshmark, Macari, and eBay. Sometimes Depop also. Um, I, I kind of save depop for my vintage items but you'll also see them on poshmark i love i really love poshmark um but i love macari and i love ebay i love them all i just like reselling so anyway enough of the chit chat i am going to go to my first box i did already open the boxes because i feel like you know in case i have a hard time in case i cut myself i really don't think anyone wants to see me bleed on camera so anyway, the first box, I'm not so sure which which box it is because I did open it and it's not a big box. So I'm thinking it might be, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Let's, let's open it up and see. Okay. So here is my invoice from ThreadUp. I noticed they're not doing the green heading anymore. For a while there, I was getting green heading. Heading, blah, 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 blah. so let's see where this box came from. This box came from Phoenix, Arizona. I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed on this because I have gotten some not so great boxes from Phoenix, but you know what? You always hope for the best. Okay, so this is going to be the Mixed Rescue Box name brand handbags. So in this, uh, this rescue box, I believe it's five pieces. One can be like an accessory. It could be sunglasses. It could be a wallet, a wristlet, you know, something like that. So I paid for the box. I ordered the box on October 24th. Um, so yeah, I just got this box. This is a newer box. I have boxes here that have been sitting longer than that. Um... And what else was I going to say? I ordered it on October 24th. Oh, the price. I paid $100, but I get free shipping because I order a lot from ThreadUp. I do pay tax, though. So I want to say I paid, I believe, $106 on this box. Okay. I'm going to put that invoice there. And tissue paper. They just lay it flat. As I am going to put it down here, because I always put the tissue paper on my patch. Okay, so the first bag is a large bag. It's a large shoulder bag. Okay. I don't see a maker yet on it, but it's, it's a pretty bag. It's a nice size. I do see some staining. I don't know if you could see that over here and over here. Um, I think I could clean it up. Not sure really if it's leather. I'm going to have to, you know, look into that. Um, there are like flat stud detail accents. 
it's on the corners, it's on the side, and the handle. Okay, so it's a shoulder bag. And it is by, I can't see the small writing, because it isn't too bright here. It is by Michael Michael Kors. Okay. So you will see some staining on the inside. This feels like a cotton lining. So I'm going to see if I could clean that out. Um, it's pretty roomy in there. Okay. So it's a roomy bag. Nice size for when you're going, you know, shopping or I would carry this bag because I go to New York a lot. I would carry a bag like this when like going to work or like say if I was going to Manhattan or something, I would carry this bag for sure. Um, or even when I'm traveling, like when I'm traveling. So this way, like this is going to sound ridiculous, but sometimes I'll, I'll wear like a heavy shirt. And I'll throw a t-shirt in my pocketbook or something. You know, you can fit a lot in there. So anyway, so it's a Michael Michael Kors. And I feel like a bag like this size, I feel like, and I can be wrong, but I'm thinking it would go for about 45 to 50. I don't know yet because I didn't obviously do comps on it. I'm just still trying to, I know this is like random, but I'm still trying to figure out if it's leather or not. Not sure. I, I'm, yeah, I'm really not sure. Okay, so I, I have another layer right here. And you know which bag I'm going to take out. I'm going to take out this bag because this is really pretty. Like, it's green. It has the flowers. I don't know, again, if it's leather. This strap, it's a crossbody bag. Oh, my God. I didn't know the brand, but now I do because I see it. It's a Kate Spade bag. Look at that cute little gold bow accent and the spade. Okay. Yep. Kate Spade, New York. This is a cute bag. I want it. I want to keep it. The only thing I'm noticing is it does have like a crease right over here. I think it may have happened in shipping. But you know what? Something like that is not going to affect the bag. The bottom, it's clean. Okay, the inside. Super clean. I mean, I'm wondering if anyone really used this bag so much. I do see, like, maybe a little mark, but I think it's from, like, the zipper and just the fabric running against it. But this is a super cute bag. I'm loving it. There's a green Kate Spade. Kate Spade New York tag. Let's see if I can get that out there. Okay. So I seem to gravitate towards these type of bags because when I'm not working, I use this size bag. Like say if I'm going thrifting, I will use this size bag. I have a, like a long type of wallet, so I could fit in this size bag my, my wallet, my eyeglass case if I need, um, my cell phone I usually keep in my back pocket, but I think this is like a perfect bag, you know, very versatile. But for me personally, this, is, this would be my weekend bag. And I'm telling you, I kind of hope like the rest of this box is great where I could pay it off because I would love this bag. But you know what? I, I don't do these unboxings to keep these bags, but this one's really cute. I mean, I wouldn't use it until the summer, but it's cute. Okay, so, so far, two bags and I'm happy. Okay, I'll take this other one. Okay, so this next one, easy to tell right off the bat, it's Michael Kors, and again, it's a crossbody. It has like a silver tone chain on a leather adjustable strap. Okay, there's a little pocket there. And the inside looks pretty clean. And I think this is leather, because for sure, this over here is lined with leather. 
So I'll, I'll look into it because this part, the body of it, doesn't feel like leather. It feels like washable, but the strap does and the inside. The, but it's not lined in leather. It's lined in, you know, like a, probably a polyester or an acetate or something. So yeah. So this video is going to go fast because I'm down to two items, really. Um, so yeah, I'll keep it, I guess, short. In the comments below, ask if you want to like know like things that I do, hobbies, how my days are, things like that. Because um, I'll, I'll be more than happy to share. So this next one item, I'm like super happy because... I like Kate Spade. So this is a Kate Spade wallet. Okay. It seems to be appearing a lot more brighter on my screen than what, you know, it is in person. I do see some like spots here and over here. You know, I think I could clean them off because this is not leather. So I could use like maybe a little Dawn, a little bit of toothbrush or something. Oh, here comes my cat. So we got the wallet, we have a little pocket inside, and okay, so I want to say possibly that this wallet belonged to someone in the Tulsa, um, Tulsa Police Department because it's given me an officer's name and a badge number. I'm not going to include this at all in, um, you know, the purchase because this is some private information, but I will tell you, I know that this bag was, oh, uh, this bag, uh, this wallet, the owner was probably from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Okay. I'm going to slip it back. So it has a snap closure. Okay spot for your, your license. You have your uh, debit card, your credit cards, a little for your money. Let's see how that looks. Oh, there is some staining in there. I'll try to get it out, but you know what? Not a problem if I can't get it out because I still think it will sell pretty well. I do see a little cracking over there, but I don't think it's really gonna, I, I think I still could, you know, sell the wallet for sure and we have our coin purse and it has like the accordion sides so yeah i'm pretty happy with this kitty what are you doing what are you doing kitty huh she's rubbing herself on that michael kors bed come on let's 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 see if i can get you ah, avalanche so this is Kitty, okay? She doesn't want to be held, but this is Kitty. Say hello, Kitty. Kitty was rescued. She, what happened was, she's about seven now, but um, she was rescued. She was found underneath in, I live in South Carolina. She was found in Georgia under like a work trailer and they, they said her mom disappeared and they think she got hit because they thought, you know, they saw the mom dead. And Kitty, when she came to me, was maybe about three weeks old, maybe. I, I never really had a kitten before. She was only like about this big. And she would have grew up as a feral cat if she survived even because... Uh, when I when I got her, I bought that like, you know, it's imitation mother's milk. She had to take that, and I have a Boston Terrier, and my Boston Terrier Sadie pretty much raised Kitty, so Kitty is like a dog trapped in a cat's body almost. So yeah, that was Kitty. She was, you know. Um, I know this is off subject, but my Sadie, she's a Boston Terrier. She has Cushion's disease, and I would I, I would show her, but right now I have her shirt off 
with cushions, sometimes you get these skin lesions and you lose your fur. And unfortunately, that's where we're at with Sadie uh, right now. But I love Boston Terriers. Anyone out there who knows of a Boston Terrier ever to be rescued, I'm the girl. Okay, so now that I was sidetracked it, I'm going to go back to the last item. Okay, so the last item is also a Kate Spade New York handbag. Again, I'm not sure if it's leather. Mm, not sure, maybe. Kind of, maybe smells like leather. I always laugh when I watch other YouTubers when I see them smell the bag. But I did, I did it, so call me out on it. Um, this is a backpack. Um, not so sure what this is. This was, something's missing. I'm wondering if it was like the Kate Spade, you know, the little spade emblem of something. Maybe that's what that was. So when I do sell it, sell this, when I list it, I will disclose, you know, something's off here. I don't know quite what it was. But yeah, so there's adjustable shoulder uh straps for your, your backpack shoulders you don't only have to wear it like over both shoulders you could also do one of these this is how i used to carry my backpack pocketbooks like this a lot of the time okay so the inside i don't know if you could tell oh it has a little little mark i'll try to get that out but you know what not a big deal but this is like a really roomy you could get a lot of stuff in there so i do notice too with with the straps you could pretty much use it like a drawstring too so that helps a little bit okay so in here is just your one pocket here it's a zip pocket let's make sure it works it works if you heard me zip it and it has like the eyeglass and and um, cell phone. Okay, so Kate Spade, New York. Uh, that's that. I want to say this is like an older piece. I really can't see too well. I, my my light here is a little dim, so it's a little hard to see. Uh, I think it's a hundred percent cow's leather. So yeah, it is a leather backpack. So that is all I have for this. So here's the bag number one. Oh look, zip pocket here. I don't know if I said that. Okay, zip pocket with fringe. Mm -hmm. um, so we have this bag, bag one. Bag two. Accessory. Bag three and bag four. So I got all everything that was, you know, I they said they were sending. I got the four handbags and one accessory. Um, am I happy about this box? I am. I feel like this is a much better box. I, and like from the view as a reseller, I feel like I'll get my money back. These are pretty much all in good shape. My coach box, if you didn't see that video, watch it. Um, I did clean up those bags best I could. Some of them I got really, you know, nice. I have them listed already on Poshmark. Um, this box isn't going to be so much work, and I feel like I'll definitely make my $106 plus a profit on that, which really, truly makes me happy. So that's it for this unboxing. Um, you'll probably be seeing me wearing the same clothes because I'm going to be doing more filming. So thank you again, everybody. Um, if you stayed to the end, thank you. I'm giving you the thumbs up. Uh, also, if you are not subscribed and you like this type of content, please consider uh, subscribing to my channel. And with that, thank you very much and have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye-bye.